So this video, I'm going to show you how to write a GUI in Java graphic user interface. We're going to do with the SWT first. Like SWT is pretty much a legacy. People not using it anymore, but you may still see it's running in some applications that if you want to maintain. So SWT. And we're gonna have swing. Now to get SWT you need to download. Okay. From Eclipse website. So Eclipse is the one who provides SWT. And Swing and Java FX. Okay. So Swing already come with Java JDK. So we don't have to worry. So JDK has that. But Java FX you need JDK 1.7 something. I don't know what version, but the latest one will have for sure 1.8. Okay, they start to have 1.7 something have JD Java FX. So I'm going to show you SWT first, which I just download this from Eclipse website here. Okay, so you can just hit download when you get to SWT standard widgets. Okay. Now, let's create new Java project. So we're going to say SWT demo. Now we're going to do link the library in here, right? So we just download and extract SWT and this is the one that we need to our file, right? So how to get it in there? We gonna need to either go to your let me come back so we need to link that libraries into this project. Hmm in the source folder let me change this to the package perspectives Java default window show view package all right so you see source and libraries here so we need to link SWT library here. So go to build path. Right click, go to build path. You can manually add external archives, which is your jar, which is go to the location you have SWT right there. Now you press ready to build SWT. All right. So after you include SWT, now create a new class so we go compare them GUI so I'm gonna name SWT GUI class with the main so I, I want you to learn just compare what's the difference of each and how it looks how it feels and how to code them so in SWT we have shell. So let's look at some So basically we create a new class named SWT GUI and we need to create display which is a part of SWT widgets. And we need to create shell. Shell represent your OS. That going to put display on the top of the OS shell. Then we need widget shell. And we gonna set the text. And then you can set the shell size. You can set the size. 
Now you can do the point, point, or you can do the width and height in pixels like that. Okay. So point is the same like width and height, but it's just a class name point that you pass in width and height too. Like if you want to do point, you can just say new point and pass in width and height. It's the same thing. But when you do point, you need to import point. And I better use SWT because we're dealing with SWT. If you put the first one, that's going to be AWT. Okay. Yeah, AWT actually another GUI that part of the JDK, the older JDK. And then the new one that you swing. Okay. Alright, so now we set the sides. Let's see what we get first. Okay, so there's a problem with the 32 bit SWT on 64 bit. So we need 64 bit SWT then. Error, that error is coming from. It's try to we are 64 bit machine but if you look at the libraries that I download I download 32 bits right I need 64 bits SWT otherwise not going to run so use this website to get to 64 bit Let's try this one. To solve this problem, we have to download SBT 64 bit or change your JVM to 32 bit. Either way, right? So, I just download SBT 64 bit, but again, not really sure if it's going to work, but let's try. Because it says 64, because we don't really know what we get here. Is it really 64? So we're going to try again by reviewing how to get this in, right? So I change to the new one that I just downloaded. Okay, so let's, let's just verify. This is underscore 64. I don't need this. Right click and build pad and remove it because that's not working. Okay, so it looks better this time. It does something, no errors, right? So that means this is 64 bit version. Now we just need to complete the code to finish this. So let's look at the code. So we want to do shell.open. We didn't open it. Okay, so that's pretty much center. We, we're just going to skip the center, just do open. We try to simplify the process as much as we could. Oops, so we see something, right? Do you see GUI showing a little bit? Now it's show and it's gone. That means we want it to stay by using loop, right? To make it stay. So it's very common that we like to write a loop. Okay. Otherwise, it's not going to stay. Let me show you again. Like that, right? So we're going to say write loop while show dot this post. If it this post, that means make it to what? When it's not this post, I want it to show display. There you go. We just create a UI, right? So you write SWT to show a frame or GUI right there, display with the title hello world set text, right? Let me show you the version of Swing.
so we gotta do before swing maybe you want to look at AWT huh let's see AWT demo and all right so the second one we're showing you how to do AWT demo I create a new class name AWT using AWT right we said SWT and AWT now AWT demo extends frame so concept of inheritance so that means AWT demo becomes frame right away you have an access to all the methods of the frame right because they are inherited so that's why the constructor of this class I just access to the method of frame name set visible to turn it to be true and then I should be able to set the size to like this is the same concept you can do set size with and height or you can do new dimension just like the point right in SWT and pass in width and height but you just need to import the dimension the same right in SWT we were talking about you can do the same width and height or import point right new point just like dimension it's very same principle concept here right same and then we use Java that you need to instantiate an object object of AWT right now we are going to run this application voila we get a frame so let's compare this frame to SWT version and compare the code at the same time so you may see So in AWT we use the inheritance concept, right? In SWT you pretty much just create things from the object of the class, instantiate them and put them on the top of each other manually. See that? And then you you have to open and do the loop to make it stay which we don't have to worry about that because frame already taking care for you so AWT make simplify the process of SWT pretty much and you still get the windows it may look a little bit different because you may see this icon right so you get a native look with SWT okay SWT you get a native look it depends if you have Mac you get a Mac native look you have Unix you have Unix you can say some of you have Unix right you get a native look from SWT which if you try with AWT you may not get a native look so that's a difference so good thing about SWT you get a native right look all right so next we're gonna look at swing. Swing actually same as AWT because they use the same principle. Okay. So I'm gonna create a new class swing demo. Add the main. Like I said, it's gonna be the same. We do X tens. But now we use JFrame instead of frame. We import that. And then we do the constructor public swing demo. And do the same. JFrame has set visible to true. And then set dimension the same here. Like I said, swing also borrow AWT. Normally, when you use swing, they use SWT too. And then just do swing demo as equals to new swing demo. And 